Lock up the inside zone with this easy defensive setup. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, guys, new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, I'm actually um, scouting and labbing um, against a tournament player, uh, a money player that's uh, he's got a YouTube channel that's been around for a long time. Uh, I should post, I should be probably posting a gameplay pretty soon, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about um, a run play that he actually runs a lot a lot of inside zones uh, and I realized that I'm gonna have to have some kind of effective um, defense to shut down the inside zones if he's gonna run it runs it against you so I did go into the lab uh, and I found myself a fairly easy defensive setup and it pretty much shuts down all inside zones dead outside of some fluky animations and some great plays with the running back uh, the most part this is going to just basically shut down the inside zone you're gonna have two guys shooting the gaps uh, you're gonna have a user in the middle that's gonna be able to shoot the gaps and it's gonna force the guy force your opponent to kick everything to the outside uh, and that's when you can really bottle it up so uh, if you if you struggle against people that run inside zones uh, this is a quick uh, defensive jump into and this will basically shut this down uh, shut down the zone uh, the inside uh, zones and then you can <clears throat> you also have the ability to have really good pass coverage behind it so let's go ahead and show you how to set this up and how fast and easy it is all right, so uh, basically this is going to be a goal line situation, and what I like to do with, with this uh, is I like to go ahead and take my defensive line, shift them over off to the left. I take my uh, linebackers and shift them off to the right, uh, and then I'm going to crash my defensive line up. Now, uh, with this particular defense, this defense actually will shoot the gaps. So my, got, my responsibility is to take my middle linebacker. I, wherever I'm shifting my, my linebackers to, I want to try to go to the opposite side, uh, just to basically go ahead and mass, uh, mess up uh, any kind of reads, and I'm just going to go and shoot the gap uh, because a lot of times what's going to happen is this this defense is going to lock it up pretty quick. So we're going to base the line. Uh, we're going to shift our, 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 our line, our, our linebackers off the left. I'm going to crash up or slant to the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and take my linebacker and just use them right over here. So uh, if if there, there was another blocker off the left, I might, I might be able to go ahead and slide the defensive line down. But I want to go ahead and keep these guys centered. And then basically we're just going to go ahead and just shoot the gap right there. And as you can see, uh, there's really nothing to do. We're going to base a line. We're going to go ahead and take our linebackers and shoot them off. We're going to crash or slant to the uh, outside. And then we're going to use this guy right over here and then just basically try to come down into the spot right there. So you can see the the, the, uh, line, the guys are just attacking uh, this, this setup. So we're going to go ahead and set these, guys, set these guys up over here to the left. Uh, we're going to crash the defensive line up. It's just three quick adjustments, and then we're just going to go and shoot the gaps right there. And, and right there I actually got picked up in a block, but you can see it's just completely jumbled up. Once again, we're going to set this defense up. We're going to go and crash out. We're going to shift our linebackers off to the left. And then we're just going to go ahead and use her and just try to go and shoot the gap right here. And even if the guy actually cuts it back, I've got defenders are going to be in the area to clean it up. So we're just going to go ahead and move our guys over, base the line, crash up, shift our linebackers off the left. And then we're just going to go ahead and just see how the, the run just gets locked up. Baseline crash up. Now you can see right here, um, we've got basically um, another defender. Uh, we've got more blockers off to the right hand side. But the way this defense sets up, you can see these guys just shoot right into the gaps and really blows it, blows this run up. So you would think that you're going to get pretty much outmatched, but what happens is that. Uh, a lot of times is that you're going to get a free release with this safety that comes comes right into the hole, and then also you can see this safety right here uh, comes into the other uh, the other uh, gap and makes a free attack just to get into the into the red zone and that, or in, in the, uh, the the back. Um, uh, backfield right there so it's just a very easy defense to set up and what's cool about it too is that it does give you flexibility for pass coverage so I'm going to show you that the gaps still get attacked if you go ahead and make any you beef up the pass coverage too you're probably thinking well hell man I'm just gonna throw right over the top of that so what's cool about it too is that you can go ahead and set yourself up with a cross man so I can go ahead and cross man uh, my, my defenders like this so if these guys uh, go ahead and take have guys that are doing deep post routes or whatever you're gonna have basically um, 
uh, you know, uh, seven people in coverage, but you're still going to have those run fits to go and blow people up. So if you guys like this tip, guys, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be rolling this as one of my run defenses and just a different setup against anybody that uses like inside zones. I will let you know that this defense does not work effectively against any kind of outside pitches. So if you run into somebody that does a lot of outside pitches, you probably want to jump out of this particular defensive setup because it's not as effective as someone who does inside zones. So I just want to, that's a, just a warning is that you will get burnt to the outside. It just doesn't attack very well. So uh, once again, my subscribers, thank you for support, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time.